Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net, and today we are benchmarking Grid Autosport, the new racing game made by Code Masters, or as they call themselves, the Codies. Grid 2 introduced some new graphics technology that actually the Code Masters partnered with Intel and the Haswell release at the time it was brand new, and they introduced some cool stuff on the graphics side. For example, uh, self-shadowing smoke. It was it was interesting technology. Grid Autosport has continued the trend. They are partnered with Intel again, but it's not that exciting this time. Uh, the, the graphics do look great though, just the partnerships aren't as exclusive, which is good for users of all hardware. In terms of graphics, uh, it looks great, but it's very optimized and it's not that intensive. This is actually the most optimized game I've benchmarked so far in that it will perform very well on almost any card $100 plus. So listing off the video cards in order of uh, uh, sort of the low end to the high end, we have a 250X 1 gigabyte card, 7850 1 gigabyte card, 750 Ti 2 gigabyte card by Nvidia of course, an R9 270X 2 gigabyte uh, device by AMD, GTX 770 2 gigabyte, R9 290X 4 gigabyte, uh, GTX 783 gigabyte provided by Zotac graciously and that again in SLI so two 780s tested in SLI and then a GTX 780 Ti 3 gigabyte card so that's sort of the suite I tested with that is nine graphics configurations for grid auto support benchmarking and the results were pretty good actually it runs very well uh, across the board unlike Watch Dogs and Titanfall so that's a very nice change to see after the atrocity that was Watch Dogs optimization it was it was bad uh, check YouTube for information on that anyway let's look at the charts so Grid Autosport has a PC benchmark built into it I define all of the test methodology in the article linked in the description below hit that link if you want to learn how I did this and replicate it yourself so looking at the performance we'll start with the high graphic settings then move to max on a high graphic settings you can play this game with all the cards tested here all the way down to the $100 250x 1 gigabyte card which averaged almost 60 FPS. Averaging almost 60 FPS is good enough for me, it's good enough for most people. If you're very picky and think that you can see a difference then great, uh, you may need to buy a slightly more expensive card but the, the bottom line here is that the 250x at $100 will play Grid Autosport on high settings very reliably on one monitor at 1080p. Uh, and kind of looking above that, the 270X exhibited some very odd performance on high. I retested it. The same for the 290X. The 290X I thought performed disproportionately to NVIDIA's similar offerings. 290X is much more expensive than the 770 and theoretically should perform far better because statistically it, it is a bit more impressive in that regard. But I think Grid Autosport is optimized for NVIDIA devices, and that's why we see this disparity in the way that it is. The 750 Ti, uh, which performed just below the 270X and 290X and their odd habits, 750 Ti did very well. Uh, I always recommend that card as a budget entry-level type card. It's 120 bucks, $20 more than 250X, and you get a lot more power, and you also get some features like shadow play that are potentially interesting to those who would like to produce YouTube content. So that's the high settings. Obviously everything above the 290X and including the 290X just blew the game away. No problem whatsoever. So we won't even look at those. On max settings, again the 250X is at the bottom. This time at 30 FPS. So it's not really a viable option here. The 750 Ti is sort of uh, borderline viable. You could probably do a mix, like a hybrid of maximum and high settings and play pretty well. Uh, but you're not going to play on all maxed out, so do keep that in mind. But you can definitely drop MSAA or something like that down a little bit, and you'll be at 60 FPS again, no problem. 270X did very well on max settings. It ran at 60 solid, and that is th the baseline of what my recommendation would be if you want to play on max settings, 1080p, one monitor. It would be the 270X. 770, I do not have a 760, but the 770 performed at 80 FPS constant. Uh, you can look between the 770 and 270X, imagine that is where the 760 would be. So it would be in the probably 65 to 75 FPS range comparatively. And that gives you an idea for uh, what it would cost to get something to do that. So what are my recommendations here? Uh, I mean, obviously we look at SLI, 
with the 780s, it's not even why would you spend that kind of money on this, but they did well, so that's cool. Uh, SLI, the purpose of testing it was not just to blow the game away, but was to actually see if there was any micro stuttering. There was not any micro stuttering. SLI performed very well, unlike in Watch Dogs and Titanfall, which was atrocious and you'd be better off disabling it. Crossfire, I could not test, unfortunately, at this time due to availability of the bench, but we will test it in the future. Uh, so recommending cards here. If you own a 650 Ti Boost, you own a 7850, you own a, I don't know, call it a even 670, yeah, any any of those cards really, then you don't need to buy a new card just for Grid Autosport. You'll be fine on what you have. If you don't own a device because you're building a new system or something along those lines, my recommendations would be this. If you're okay with high settings and you're on an ultra crazy budget, the 250X at 100 bucks all day long is the best choice for this game. But if you can afford the extra $20 for a 750 Ti, I would strongly recommend it because it gives you more versatility, especially with a 2 gigabyte capacity in other games. And it also gives you a couple of extra features and it's just more powerful and very power efficient on the TDP side. So 750 Ti is kind of my preferred recommendation here for high settings. And you can also push a hybrid of high and max. Above that, if you want to max out the game, the 270X is kind of where it starts. Uh, that performs pretty well, if a bit oddly, for the game. Um, the 760 would be my next uh, recommendation if you want to really start pushing graphics to their uh, highest possible settings with NVIDIA, then the 760 would be where it's at, and that is somewhere in the uh, $230 range. I'm looking at running right now. The 270X is $170, 770 is $330. Uh, 250X is 100, 750Ti is 120, so that gives you an idea of price for all this stuff. And that is the benchmark. Please click the link in the description below because it has more information and I wrote it and would appreciate that you read at least some of it because it's, I mean, I think it's fun. So uh, check that out and I will see you all next time. Peace.